Hey, are you ready for the May new moon? On May the 7th, we'll have a new moon in Taurus. Taurus is a fixed Earth sign ruled by the planet Venus. And this is a good thing as it will support us as we continue to process the powerful energy from last month. You remember last month we had an eclipse and some other powerful alignments that have really impacted us. If you're still reeling from the eclipse, then be sure to schedule downtime this week to rest, recover, and process this energy. This new moon will also help us connect with what we need to feel loved, supported, and safe. All relationships will be scrutinized, and you may even spend time reviewing old friendships, romances, and even how your co-workers have impacted your life. You're forward thinking now and looking for answers. Also, it's very important to be true to yourself now, and you're probably even more committed to that than usual. You're done with the same old routines or habits, and thanks to other planetary alignments, you're getting the push you need to rethink your commitments and your responsibilities. So with this practical Taurus energy, you're also less likely to overcommit, overshare, or overwork yourself. Taurus is very dedicated and gets the job done, but doesn't take on any unnecessary drama. Taurus is practical, knows what they need, and knows their limits. So take a page out of Taurus's book and don't overcommit this month. Commit to self-care and taking care of your health. And it's a perfect time for this because you need to rest and process all of these changes. So if you're struggling with the eclipse energy, especially take this to heart. Schedule downtime on the calendar. And remember, the new moons all encourage us to embrace positive changes via manifesting what we are desiring. So get clear on what you want to manifest for the rest of the month and then take meaningful steps towards achieving them. So if you feel like you've fallen into a rut or that you're not really having the time to appreciate what's going on because you're too caught up with overcommitment and uh, overworking, then this is a big sign to slow down as well. The Taurus energy is, like I say, very practical and they know their limits. So take a page out of their book and really think about what areas of your life are out of balance and take some time this week to really look at how you can fix this issue and and what it would mean to you to be back in balance. So there's a lot happening this month, but know that if you're rested, it'll be a lot easier to embrace these opportunities. And most of the stuff happening is going to be phenomenal. We're going to see lots of really positive changes, lots of opportunities. We're going to see probably a windfall come in, and we're going to see some of the signs actually fall in love this month as well. So I know I haven't been doing too many videos. It's because I'm traveling and teaching, and I'm in England right now, but I'm going to um, do my best to at least get some shorts out for you. Be sure and go to the homepage of the channel and you'll see the shorts and be sure and click on them. Have a great week and I'll speak to you soon. Reiki blessings.